Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Today, we are creating this. So, let's get started, open After Effects. Do you know, if your system is running in low memory conditions, you can free up some memory by cleaning the disk cache of After Effects, well, this is optional, you can delete your porn collection too. Back to the tutorial. Make a new composition. I am going with 1920 by 1080, at 30 frames per second. Add a new solid, to use it, as background. I am going with the black color. Here are some wall texture background images, you can download them from the link in the description. Or you can add your own background. I am going with this image, import this image in After Effects, and drop onto your timeline, Press S key in your keyboard, and scale it to something like this. But this image is too bright, let's add some effects to make it dark. If you don't see your effect tab here, go to window, and select effects and presets. Or just press Ctrl plus 5. Add curve effect to this layer, and make it dark. Add another tint effect to desaturate it. Change this white color to some gray color. And your image will be dark. Add a new solid with black color. We are creating vignette effect by this layer. Go to your shape tool and select ellipse tool. Double click on this ellipse icon and it will create perfect ellipse onto your layer. Go to mask and change it to subtract. Press F key to open feather, and change to something 600 pixels. And this is your vignette effect. Now select these all layers and pre-compose them. Rename all your layers and comp, this helps when you are working on big projects. Now, add your text. You can add your logo too, but make sure to add only stroke. Fill color will not look good in neon effect. You can download these fonts from the link in the description. See. In my every tutorial, I am giving away cool fonts. So you should subscribe me. Add another text with different font. You can add all capital letters. Click here, if you want text to be in capital. You are free to add your own typography style. But I like this very much so I am going with it. And change its color to something very bright. You can google neon color sample. Align your text into the center. I want to skew this text as I shown in the intro. Go to effects and type transform effects. Add this effect to the any of these text layers. And change skew to 
minus 10. Now, copy this effect and paste on to another text layer. Perfect. Now adding a ring, outside of this text. Take ellipse tool and draw a shape holding shift key to make it perfect circle. I am using stroke only. Set your fill to none. And stroke to solid color. Now, hold shift key in your keyboard, and make a perfect round circle. Select move tool, and align it to the center. But I don't want circle to be perfect circle, so take the pen tool and draw over a new shape. Keep the same settings. Trace this circle but don't make it perfect circle. Just some rough shape. Hide the bottom layer, and this is your messy circle. These settings are flexible, if you want to create something else. You can delete this circle shape which we created before. Let's rename this to ring. In my case, Everything is looking too big, so I am scaling down to make them look not too big. Perfect, this looks good to me. Select all these text and shape layers and pre-compose them. It's time to give it to the neon effect. First, duplicate this comp. Hide the above layer for now. Select bottom layer and right click on this comp. Go to layer styles and select bevel and emboss. This option will add some depth to this flat comp. Go to filters and add a fill effect. Change color from red to dark gray, but not black exactly. This will be our tube for neon light. My background looks black and white to me. Let's saturate it. Open this comp, and change amount to tint to something 95%. We have color in the background now. It's looking too bright to me. Open bevel and emboss. Go to highlight color and change white to gray. and adjust its opacity, that looks good. But remember, not too dark and not too bright. Now, add a drop shadow style from layer styles. This looks good to me. Our wiring is complete, let's connect it to electricity. Unhide this top layer and make another duplicate of this comp. Add a fast blur effect to this comp. We are going to use this comp as glow effect. Change blurriness to 150. And this is our glow effect.
Select this top layer and go to its layer styles, and select inner glow. Open this inner glow style, and change source to center. It will add some nice looking glow. Now go to effects and add a glow effect to this comp. Make another duplicate to this comp to add some details. First, delete this glow effect from this comp. Now, right click on this comp. Go to layer styles and select bevel and emboss. Open this bevel and emboss layer style, change, highlight opacity to, 0% and shadow opacity to, 17%. It will add some nice looking detailing to this comp. Also, open in a glow option and change opacity to 50%. Your neon effect is ready. Now, we are adding some extra lights into our scene. Add a new solid. And rename it to light. Put this above the wall background. Go to effects and add for color gradient effect. Click on this pick a tool and select color from this neon text. Grab these points and arrange them like this. I am changing this third color to the same pink red color, and blue color in the center below, to the hell text. So the lighting will match. Now, we need to mask this out, you can use ellipse tool but I am using pen tool, it's all your choice. Draw a rough mask around this ring. Like this. Press F to open feather option, and increase the size to something 250 pixels. It will make the edges soft. Now change its blending mode to vivid light. This will add some nice lights, arrange your mask, so it will not go far away from this ring. My lights looking red, so I am changing them to look more like the text color. You can adjust its opacity if your scene is too bright. Let me adjust more. Our neon text is complete, it's time to animate this. We are using simple techniques for animating this. But first rename them, so you can remember what is neon layer and what is wire layer.
Select all the lights and neon layers, except content off layer. Make sure you have selected the right layer. Drag these layers like this, so our scene will start from lights off comp. Open any of these content on comps. And select all layers. Press T to open opacity, and add keyframe to the opacity. Add first keyframe on 100%, second keyframe on 0% and third with 100% opacity. This animation should be fast. By the way, you can trim your comp by pressing N on your keyboard to see the effect only. Go back to your main comp, and you will see this blink animation. Let's add flicker to these content on layers. Press T to open opacity, and Alt click on the stopwatch. Here you can add script. Type wiggle bracket open and close. And write 60, 20 inside this bracket. You will see some little flicker to the opacity. But this is not enough, let's add to all comps. Copy this script and add to all content on comps. Here you go. We made it.